you know, Crenshaw took an interesting stance. Uh, they're saying, no, I want to act. I don't care if people are telling us uh, not to act. We'll see what that does in terms of his popularity within the caucus. Uh, but do you believe now that this Georgia University murder will wind up being the Willie Horton? I'm dating myself, but that this will be the metaphor moment of what this election's conversation will be around the border. Sure, and now there's a two-year-old girl killed by a Salvadoran uh, migrant, allegedly. Um, so I think that this is going to be a huge campaign issue for the Republicans. I don't follow party politics very much. Um, you can ask me about McConnell and all that, but I'm not really interested in that. Uh, I said to my audience on uh, BillOReilly.com, the Nosebin News, I would not have voted for the border bill. We've discussed it here uh, because I don't think it would have done very much good. First thing that has to happen is a suspension of all asylum claims for at least six months so that the United States government can reorganize and people like uh, Congressman Crenshaw can get involved with what they think will solve the problem long run. Now, some polit this is a political bill put forth by Schumer. Uh, to try to give Biden cover. But to with your original question, Republican Georgia now... With 10 Republicans. Well, fine. I, they can vote for whatever they want. If I were a senator, I would have voted against it. My conscience says this bill is not going to improve the problem very much. Georgia now well, will vote for Trump. the Border Patrol disagreed with Remember. You. Uh, okay. That's fine. All that right? should matter. Georgia now is a Trump state. It went to Biden. All right. So that's mm -hmm. one domino falls right there. Uh, sanctuary cities, which should be part of any immigration bill, uh, are now under fire like crazy mm. because those yeah, things you hear should what the never White House be said? allowed to exist. Did you hear what the White House said uh, today? Well, I said uh, a lot. Calling what, for what local. So listen to this, Bill. You're going to love this. So everybody should know that Democrats very aggressively supported cities making the determination to be what are now called sanctuary cities. It's a much more complicated discussion than often is had about why they made those determinations, about resources, litigation. But they went from that position to today saying when a local jurisdiction has information about an individual who could pose a threat to public safety, we want them to share that information with ICE. This is something you would have never heard during the Obama administration. Does this mean that they are waking up to the reality of this issue? And might they be able to pivot and get on the right side with the electorate? I'm sure there are some Democrats who wised up, but this is another political statement designed out of desperation. I don't think Americans understand how much trouble President Biden is in. He's in a colossal amount of trouble now that the uh, special counsel conspiracy trial won't happen until after the right. election. Uh, it's almost over. Oh, you think it'll be for that? Joe Biden. You think uh, you th you think that the Supreme Court. So uh, for you guys at home, I mentioned it at the top of the show, the Supreme Court decided to hear the immunity claim. Now, uh, there's a lot right. of pushback on this decision, but the Supreme Court has the final word. You know, n no lower court gave a lot of credibility to the argument, but it is a case of what they call first impression for the Supreme Court. Can a president be prosecuted for actions during their presidency? Do you believe, Bill, that now the case won't be brought until after the election? You think SCOTUS will delay it that much? No, I think SCOTUS will rule in June. And then um, I think right. Trump's got a good chance to prevail uh, on the court, 5-4, um, because the argument is Trump really? hasn't been charged with any insurrection crime. Nothing. Right. Now, it's a conspiracy beef. Uh, there's no insurrection cited by the special counsel. The Supreme Court is going to look at it and say, you know, this is pretty political. We're not going to let it um, interfere with the election. And then even if Trump loses... He's got all kinds of ways to delay the federal trial, all kinds, because nothing happens mm. between now and when the Supreme Court makes its ruling, which will probably be the third week in June. So it's literally right. impossible to get this trial up and running by Election Day, which is why well, I don't it's know an that enormous victory for Trump. I don't know that it's it, impossible. It almost I think, is. I think them hearing it is a victory, but I think it was the right call by them. They say they're going to hear it April 22, if there's no delay. Let's say they do decide in June, as you say. Well, that, no, no, that's I think when opening arguments certainly... start. 
Right, right. No, no, I'm saying April. So let's say June is when they make their determination. I think there's very little chance he prevails. Uh, there is very little jurisprudence. Forget about presidential value. There's no, there's nothing. But the lower courts damn this argument for a reason. I think he loses, but maybe he wins, as you say, because it buys him this time to stay out of Jack, uh, Jack Smith's teeth. Um, so we'll see. All right. Uh, hey, thank you for watching. Please go to NewsNationNow.com, NewsNationNow.com, and you can find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button down below. Then you will get more of NewsNation's fact-driven coverage.